Hi grade ones! I'm going to be doing a read aloud for you this morning and the book I've chosen is The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. Eric Carl is a very famous author and illustrator and I bet if you ask your families they know some Eric Carl books too. So snuggle up and listen to this read aloud. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high into the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies too high, higher than the others. Up, up, up it goes, and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed flies along with the others. Another seed lands on a tall icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seed falls gently down onto the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats the seed for his lunch. But this tiny seed lies very still and the mouse, mouse does not see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls. The seed grows so round and full that they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the, the new plants. It is a big, fat weed. And it takes all of the sunlight and rain away from the one from one of the small new plants and that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry! But finally it too starts to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and the springtime. One child does not see the plants as he runs along and Oh no, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbors grow even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. Oh no, what is happening? First there are footsteps, then a shadow looms over them, then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. 
Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with bright leaves over the land and down onto the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has almost lost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower and this time the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far into the wind. The end. So I love this book because it's so full of learning. It talks about different seasons and what happens in different seasons. It talks about um, what plants need to grow. So it can't grow on the top of a mountain because it's too cold can't grow in water, can't grow in a desert, it's too hot and dry. And it also talks about the plant life cycle. So it starts as a seed um, and then it gets planted, it grows roots, petal, stems, um, and then once it's a mature flower, then it forms seeds and those seeds get blown away into the wind and the cycle starts all over again. So. Um, Head on over to the activities, look at some of the plant life cycle activities that we have, and check on your seed at home, and um, see if you can see any little roots um, coming out or stems starting to form, and let me know what you find. Okay, have a great day, grade ones. Bye.